all right good morning good afternoon good evening wonderful people lovers of freedom all over the world you're welcome to one of your youtube channel that gives you quality news and information on everything happening in beer friend territory please subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on your notification because we are right here to give you all the updated news and information as it happened for Biafran territory. So, make we go straight up to the issue on ground because a lot has been happening um, recently on the Biafran struggle. Now, the Prime Minister have uh, actually dropped, you know, a very critical message to every Biafran. But the view, the, the, the issue we are addressing today is um concerning um the um um uh, uh, the the issue of um of the Igbo youth not joining the um Nigerian army as it stands Igbo youth have refused to join the Nigerian army that has actually proven and shown that um Igbo youth you know, Igbo Biafran, those who understand them, what the struggle is all about, are currently hearkening to the voice of the Prime Minister Simon Epa Njoko. Not just that, not just hearkening to the voice of Prime Minister Simon Epa Njoko, but also they have come to the realization that Nigeria is not actually meant for them. The Nigerian army, you know, cried out. They screamed out, you know, that Igbo youth have failed, have refused to actually join the Nigerian army. So it is clear, it is clear that any Igbo youth who have actually understood what the struggle is all about, we prefer, you know, to support the Biafran Liberation Army instead of them um, to join the Nigerian terrorist army because of why because of the fact that you know what you will face if you definitely join the nigerian army first of all let me tell you joining the nigerian army as an Igbo youth you are signing in fact signing death warrant is a normal thing in the nigerian army but you are actually you know committing um suicide by joining the nigerian army because the simple thing there is that you will die, you will die. There is no two ways about it. You will die. You won't even waste, you know, you won't spend up to two years in the Nigerian army before you die. That is just like you signing a death, you know, um, a suicide for yourself, committing suicide for yourself. So if you actually understand what it entails, you know, for fight to fight for freedom, I don't expect any Igbo youth, you know, any Biafran, whatsoever, whatsoever, you know, um, state you are coming for to fight for the Nigerian army because you end up, you know, paying yourself for nothing. And the funniest thing is that the worst death you can actually die currently is for you to die as you know a nigerian soldier it is the most irresponsible death anybody can die because for me i see it as you know a, a person coming out to commit suicide how can you join nigerian army where you know they prefer to send you know the priestess the Igbos, to the terrorist zone put them in the war front so that they can be quiet easily We've seen so many testimonies of those who managed to meander and run away from the whole scenario. So why would a normal human being come out to be fighting for the Nigerian terrorist army? Without going further into this issue, the issue is already is ready to be addressed and we're going to be addressing that issue critically before we go into the order of the Prime Minister Simon Epa Njoko. On that note, we say thank you once again for joining us. And do not forget to share this video to as many groups, to as many platforms as possible. God bless you. In the land of Chukokikabiyama, wherever you are joining me from, I say you are highly welcome. Please let me know in the comment section if my voice is coming out clear so that we may proceed. Let me know if you can hear me loud and clear.
let me know if you can hear me loud and clear before i acknowledge some of you whom i have seen your names in the comment section moving forward all right humble prince i can see you it has been a very long time onion came humble prince sundays you are welcome i can see you all in the comment section this very live presentation this evening or should i say this night yeah walking on no. this is going to be one of the most emotional live broadcast i have ever done <clears throat> is going to be not even one of this is going to be the most emotional live broadcast ever ever on this very platform ever i said ever on this platform or let me not say yeah i can say the most because even when our leader was kidnapped in kenya i wasn't that emotional i wasn't that emotional of course many of us cried but I personally wasn't that emotional because this very live broadcast today or this evening, stroke night, depending on your location, is going to be very, very, very emotional. I want to assure you. Tochi Ezeme, you are welcome. Sonny, Sonny, you are welcome. Shady AGK, you are welcome. Vincent Jehu, you are welcome. King Ugo, you are welcome. King Ugo Don, I can see you. Gabriel Isaac, I can see you. Akam Madokeze, you are welcome. Victor Mbwemena, Onyen Kem, you are welcome to this very live presentation. Aluku Nabike, you are welcome. Vincent, you are welcome. Onyine Chuku Keke, you are welcome. Oh my goodness me. Abasi, you are welcome. Obiage, Obiageli Uchenna, I can see you. Jafet Perry, you're welcome. Arum Onwoka, you're welcome. Humbin Prisa, I have already mentioned you. AFB Global, you are welcome. AFB Global, you are highly welcome, my own person. Prince Ifan Chuku, you are welcome. Sondalo, you are welcome. Okui John, I can see you. Chairman, oh, oh my goodness me, the names keep coming thick and fast. Isaac Sonny, you're welcome. Vincent, you're welcome. The names are too many, of course. I uh, will your also immediately without further hesitation. Please, if I do not mention your name, I want you to continue making your comment. Keep dropping your comment. Once it attracts me, once it gets my attention, I will definitely bring it to the screen and, of course, acknowledge it. My wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom, I bido this very broadcast immediately. As you all can see, we have come very, very late. This is not our normal time. It has taken us almost two hours extra before coming live this evening. So please let us begin without further hesitation. I want you to welcome every other person around you by making sure that you hit the like button and share button of this very presentation this evening. Wherever you're joining me from, we are live and direct on two different platforms. We are on YouTube, our sister channel, which is Biafra Unite TV, and of course, our sister Facebook page, which is Biafra Unite Official. Now, given the title of this, or should I say, going by the title of this very live presentation, which I have written, Breaking, Simon Ekpa officially quits politics in Finland. Those of you who always join our broadcast without even minding what the title is, I appreciate you so much. That shows how hardcore you are. Some people always like to read the title first, even though they know that this broadcast is coming from so 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 platform, which they follow very well. They would like to read the uh, the title to be as to be confirmed to uh, to be as to be sure if it is interesting if it is in interesting for them to join. But those of you who don't read the title, once you see Biafra Unite notification, you know you must be there. I congratulate every one of you. So the title says, Breaking, Simon Ekpa officially quits politics in Finland to focus only on Biafra liberation. Hmm. 
<laughs> do you are you have you be, have you started you know feeling the vibe remember i told you this is going to be the highest the most emotional broadcast i've ever done and i want you to start feeling the vibe from beginning i want you to begin to feel the vibe from the beginning of this very broadcast it says that the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile his Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoku has officially, officially quit politics in Finland in order for him to focus solely on Biafra liberation. Imaleni DOS criminal member, get them here. If you know any Igbo politician, get him here. If you know any of Hanez and Dioshin and Diama, get him here. If you know the idiots, structure defenders, structure, structure, get him or her here. Nicholas Uzamaka, thank you for joining us this evening. I can see you. Get them here. We have to discuss this evening. I want them here this evening. There is a very important discussion. So I will throw the platform open after my analysis, and I don't want to take time. I want to be very, very brief in order to allow beer friends to make their own contribution because this very matter this evening is a matter that concerns all beer friends all over the world. Elizabeth, I can see you. You are highly welcome to the broadcast. Uchen Namadi, you are welcome too. As we continue. Get them here. As you click the like button and share button, get them here. We have to discuss this evening. Something great has happened. Something very, very huge has happened. And we must talk about it. Now, without further ado, before we delve into the main matter which concerns all of us which is the you know the 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 the, the way our prime minister has quit finished pre, uh, politics in order to focus solely on biafra restoration and liberation that is our main matter this evening that is going to be the main thing to discuss this evening but before then let me because a lot of people so many biafrans are concerned so many biafrans have sent me this very video please be so many biafrans have sent me this very video on our biafra unite whatsapp you know a uh, 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 line asking me or the number is this thing real is this video real is it coming from Biafra government? And I have managed to respond to some of them. And I told them to do what? To not to pay attention to it because it is a fake news. So those of you who have not been able to send the video to ask me if it's real, maybe you don't have our number or you, you don't know how to do it. Those of you who have not been able to ask if the video is real, if the order is real i want to i want to use this opportunity this very medium to tell you the truth first of all let me play the video and then we move from there attention yawu libo onye igbo ina ni igbo fuma ino na abia states ino ni mo states enugu state or anambra state or eboni state this announcement is for you on 21 and 22 of October 2024, please, Apo no inside your house with your family. Ask me why. Because that day, Biafra warriors na launch their armored cars. Biafra warriors na launch their armored cars. That day, we'll sit at home. And the same day, and her launch Biafra flag, they will stand it. Now, Nigeria Army, Gibeok, which 
you guys know. Now, no, 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 with your family, avoid the problem. Ina nya yegi hu video suno here now. Ina bi hena bi meno. Kata kata na bi meno. He budu kwa o. Nse budu. Kata kata na bi meno. He po mo share ya this video. So that in tina no begi ekono niya. Please help me to save soul. God will bless you if you do this. Nse budu. On twenty one and twenty two. No no logo, no no logo with your family. Now I don't have to continue playing the video. I'm sure most of you must have seen it. If you look at the video, if you look at the two videos playing below, which he you know talked about, he said, You see these videos playing here, that this is what is going to is coming to happen. On the he said 20 21 or 22 i don't even understand 21 now this very man i don't know who he is first of all i want to let their friends understand that listen on this social media uh, uh you know space on this social media space that we all have found ourselves it it takes a lot i want you to pay attention it takes a lot it takes a lot it really takes a lot for someone to make a headway on social media pay attention social media is very very big the space is too large that can contain every human being on the planet listen to me very very attentively the social media is very huge it's massive it's gigantic that that has the capacity to contain every human being on earth but for you to make it on this social media for you to blow on social media for you to be recognized on social media for you to be followed massively on social media it takes a lot it takes enormous work enormous work don't think because social media is big that has space for everybody therefore whatever you do then you blow no it's not like that it takes enormous hard enormous you have to do something extraordinary for you to blow for people to pay attention to you for people to listen to you for people to follow you for people to recognize you for people to believe in you for people to pay attention to whatever you are doing you need to do a lot it takes so much so and anybody who is coming on social media who is serious to come on social media to you know to 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 get prominent to to get prominence on social media they all they always know that it is not an easy thing it's not an easy tax therefore everybody wants to do something something different something that you know that can hit the airwaves and everybody will start talking about it and when you are talking about what they do you also you are equally talking about the person in question who has done that that you are talking about so anybody who has dream of coming on working on social media knows this what i have said now everybody who wants to be on social who wants to be known on social media knows this so they will come out with any kind of news whether fake or real in order for them to gain prominence that is how it works now this idiot who is on your screen who is talking about 21st uh, october sit at home is telling you about video that is playing on uh, you know uh, below uh, his video and guess what the video he's talking about is video of biafra liberation army the one on your right hand side as you can see one of our commanders there as you can see one of our commanders the one on your right hand side and this idiot talking about Biafra uh, uh, warriors launching, uh, you know, ammo, uh, uh, ammo, ammo tanks. He is using the video, our own video, the video of our own Biafra Liberation Army under the Biafra Re uh, Republic government in exile. 
and he is telling you how they are coming biafra warriors he did not even mention biafra liberation army he is telling you how biafra warriors are coming to launch biafra armor tanks and host biafra flag while using our own biafra liberation army how does that work? how can you you know how do you bring these two things together this is how you know saboteurs this is how you know desperate people this is how you know those who want to you know want to do something for their name to to be hard but they don't know where to start desperate people now the idiot who is talking giving instruction on 21st who sent him it is in the open the whole world is aware that biafra land is being controlled by the biafra government led by the prime minister Mazi the whole world is aware of it every biafra is aware of it and this idiot coming here giving instruction on 21st is sit at home by who and to make the matter worse he's using the video of biafra liberation army no be juju be that so i'm not going to dwell here everybody must discard disregard the disassociate anything this this it to this idiot we don't know him he does not exist i don't know who sent him whatever he said here does not have any effect either in biafra land or on biafran people because it is not coming from the appropriate quarters it is not coming from the right you know uh, uh, source so disregard it discard it disassociate yourself from it it does not happen nothing like this and it will never happen if anything will happen you will first of all hear it from the platform of the prime minister of blgie and then we all in the media will now spread the news if you don't hear it from from in case you are not online you are not on on x you don't use x account and you don't know uh, about our prime minister's account then but you are on youtube you are on youtube you are on facebook you did not hear such news from biafra uh, from biafra unite platform you did not hear that from uh, uh, Rafa Jerry. You did not hear that from Adadi uh, You did not hear that from Mazugo or any other Biafran uh, uh, BLGIE media warrior. Then I want you to know that it is fake news. It is not from Biafra government. So we move. This one is not going to take our time. Now, let us delve into this, you know, the main matter that has brought us here this very evening. let's move into the main segment the main matter that has brought us here this evening can you hear my voice before we continue please let me know in the comment section if my voice is coming out loud and clear because now we are moving into the main matter is my voice loud and clear please wherever you are listening from on your facebook or youtube can you hear my voice loud and clear let me know please if my voice is coming out clear so that we can proceed because right now we are about to do something very very important let me know now the first the first information that came from the official and verified ex account of the prime minister of the BLGIE, his excellency Ekpa Simon Njoko, is this he said breaking i have oh breaking i have decided not to take part in the coming election and focus on biafra liberation i have decided not to take part in the coming election and focus on biafra liberation 
I have served my people, community, and region since 2012. My people, since 2012. 2012 to 2024. That makes how many years? That gives you 10, eh, am I correct? 12 good years. That gives you 12 good years. The Prime Minister of Biao GIE has been in politics in Finland. I want you to follow me because I'm Webem Naga. For 12 good years, his excellency has been on poli has been in politics in finland serving the finnish people with diligence with diligence he's been a public servant of the fin of the finnish people for 12 good years and he is not just a party member i want you to pay attention because i'm taking you somewhere i will show you so many things you know in the course of this very broadcast i will show you a lot of things a lot 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 of things so he is not just a party member but he has held various public offices various public offices that's why he is not a novice in leadership pay attention mazi simon Epa is not a novice in leadership because he has been in leadership position for the past 12 good years as an officially as an official politician i'm not talking about what he he he, he, he was doing before of course he, he used to be an athlete he used to be an athlete and he's he's also a leader as an athlete who has won medals with evidence so he's been a leader right from birth. Is he is in his DNA? But now, as an official, as an of a, a public servant, he's been in in top politics in a foreign country, in a white man's land, for a black man to be in to be to to hold a public office. In a white man's land, you must know that you must be very, very sharp man. You must be a sharp guy. Let me tell you, you must be a sharp guy for you to be a black man and hold a public office in a white man's land. Even now, pure. For you to be a public servant as a black man, an African man who migrated from Africa to Europe, you must be sharp. If you like, you go and wear the highest suit in this world. Wear the, the, the most expensive suit in the world. If you, if you are not sharp upstairs, if you are not sharp upstairs, you don't have anything to offer upstairs, you are, you are nobody. You are just nobody. Now let's continue. He said, I have served my people community and region since 2012 and i have delivered and i have delivered all i promised them from good environment for children playground to transportation to construction etc i will be posting some i will be posting some throwback videos and pictures and pictures i am here to get biafra independence Biafrans, let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you, let me be honest with you. Let me just tell you the truth now. If you are a Biafran, if you are a Biafran, just be happy. Thank God that you have somebody like this. 
I'm not praising him. Oh. One thing about me is that, let me tell you the truth about me now. Biafra Unite is different from others. Those of you who have been here for many years, you will understand what I'm talking about. Biafra Unite is different from others. When I started broadcasting about Biafra, Mazi Samaneka himself was never in any way in any leadership position in Biafra agitation. I want you to pay attention. When I started broadcasting, talking about Biafra, he was never in position in Biafra movement. When Mazin Namdekano was kidnapped in 2021, our YouTube channel was already 84,000 uh, subscribers. I want you to pay attention so that Kiyoti FM Neku, remember Ben Suebido Kwana Abonansa, I'm not praising him. I am not praising Mazin Simon the Prime Minister. No. So I want to lay a foundation for, in order to back it up. Because any idiot, any DOS structural defender who will be here to say, I'm praying. No, no, no. Let me make you clear. In 2021, when Mazin Namdekanu was kidnapped from Kenya, our YouTube channel, which is Biafra United in capital letter, was already 84,000 subscribers. Nobody, nobody, nobody in the entire agitation of Biafra had gotten to that level. Nobody, both in the DOSO or in the then autopilot. Nobody, I said nobody had gotten to that level. It's only Biafra Unite. No other person. And that time, Mazi Simonekpa was also a normal broadcaster like me. So why I'm saying this is because I'm laying foundation for you not to say that I have come here to praise Mazisam. No, anything I say about him is what I have seen him doing. And he is doing it right. And he is doing it to the top. You can never get a better one than what he's doing. So I'm not here to praise him and saying the truth. Now, that has been said and the foundation has been laid. Let's continue. We are going to watch this video. Are you seeing something? Ona na fi fem na fo. Ona na fia. This man, chai na ya mam kingi kuna. This is his campaign, you know, video back in the days. Back in the days, his campaign video back in the days. Remember, he said he will be posting videos and pictures, throwback videos and pictures. And also remember that, let me even remind us, let me remind us. The prime minister is a lawyer, a certified immigration lawyer in Finland. How many of you, let me ask this question in the comment section. How many of you remember when the prime minister used to do videos from his office, his law office in Finland? How many of you remember when he used to do video from his office as a lawyer? How many of you remember? Have you ever seen the prime minister making videos from his office as a lawyer where he has all those uh, set up like a, 
you know this idiot called the geo four uh if Arjuna used to use the that uh, office to do shakara for us and the IP in the DOS criminals uh I be camera be my interview on a go say omo all those books in his office thinking that we have not seen such an office before we want to let you let let them know that the prime minister of BLGIA also has a better office than that of that idiot that criminal Ejofo. in finland in a white man's land how many of you remember or have watched the prime minister making videos from his law office from his um uh, 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 law office yes now since he has been very very active or should i say after the kidnap of mazin namdekano to be honest with you till today i have not seen the prime minister doing video again in his law office that if if he quit let me tell you i remember i told you that today this broadcast is going to be the most emotional broadcast if the prime minister quits law his law his practice in law as a certified you know immigration lawyer because i've not seen him done any video in that office again since this biafra agitation got to this level that it is now for the past two three years i've not seen him done any you know video in that office again meaning i didn't ask him oh but i i think maybe he has also sacrificed or he has first of all sacrificed that his profession as a lawyer for this very struggle i want you to pay attention Remember, I told you that if you are a Biafran, you must be happy to have somebody like Mazi Samaneba. If you go to bed, when you are praying, say, God, I thank you for the life of Samaneba. Once you go to bed, you want, you want to pray. For giving us Mazi Samaneba. I'm telling you, if I'm not going to be a joke, you can't care. Mobo, not this man, I put out. A way kidnap on them, they can't. Ibo Karebo, sorry. Ibo Karebo, sorry today. Ibo Karebo, sorry. Full and nigga, ne, megi, fene, megi, fene, when you got canani, you're tasking on what if you, man. Because those that you call your political leader, fana, la fani, you care. Can swear no need, but can swear. I'm copy your blood, I rock and swear. Messi, I'm your watch, Kumbara. Full and in a sufanike. That's why they can never say anything. Imagine who puts the mice there. I need to put a boko haram. Na nibo, ni mo state, na odi mo state. I be inspect ya a place that were that was built for open university. Full and he wanted to convert it. To Al Majiri Bambiala camp in order for them to, from there, they will be now launching attack in the various Imo communities. And from there, they will spread to other, you know, states in, in, in Ibo land. And hope was Odima cannot say anything. Even though he doesn't want it, he couldn't say anything because the people who have decided it, the people who have made the decision, Bundina Oyanike. So Ludo cannot say no because in that way I need it. Did you know that position or no? Na way I need it. In our eyes, they are they they look like men, but in the eyes of their masters, they are women. That is how hurtful it is. That is how hurtful it is. That is oh two million kaisi liendibo, million libo. After 2021, Mili Libo, Benue would have been a chance play to compare with what will happen to Ibo land if God did not raise 
mazi samene I'm telling you the truth now to me because I have not seen him making any video from that office again I didn't ask him but to me I I I I I have the feeling that the first thing he did was to even was to quit his own career i don't know i'm not sure i'm just you know i'm just uh you know um i'm just speculating i'm just speculating i'm not sure because i didn't discuss with him anything like that after that the next thing we have seen now is where we are heading now Okay, now as if this is not enough, we are going to go to the next uh, post. Remember, we are dissecting the latest development. Please, if you haven't liked this very broadcast, I want you to do so. If you haven't shared it, I want you to do so now because I want more people to join this very live broadcast. More people, more people to join this very live broadcast. I want more people to join the broadcast. If you haven't liked and shared the broadcast, please. I don't know what you are waiting for. Of course, I know we came late. We came late, but of course, I want you to like and share the broadcast for more people to join. 